I have my laser measure with me and this is one of the methods that I'm going to use to accurately measure a distance between one location of this side to another location on the other side to give me an accurate scale of the environment that I'm in. And I know a lot of people when they set a scale of a floor plan they're very tempted to use the doorway of a location on the floor plan. And the reason why we don't recommend that is because if you're out by 10 centimeters in the first one meter, which I know a lot of us will typically give a one meter distance for that doorway, if your floor plan is 100 meters in distance, that 10 centimeters turns into 10 meters, which is a really big distance to be off by. So let's try and be accurate if we can. So what I'd like to look out for is two different locations that are actually there on site. And what I mean by that is sometimes you'll see some furniture layouts that you might want to leverage, but they could change and vary time from time. So try to use something that is definitely there, like a concrete pillar and an actual wall that you can then correlate on the floor plan. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take my laser measure, measure the distance from this position over to the other side. And what it gives me is a 4.89 meter distance. And that is what I can now use inside of Echo House. So 4.89 will translate to a 4.9 meter distance that we can set for our scale inside of Echo House in the survey application. But there is actually another method that you can use when you're on site if you don't have a laser measure. So let's have a look at that quickly. I have my iPad with me or my iPhone and I want to understand the distance between two locations inside of my facility to get an accurate scale for my floor plan and I haven't got my laser measure tool on me, what can I do? Well, it's actually a measure application that you can use on your iOS device to record that distance instead. So simply what I'm going to do is click on the measure application and again, I'm going to use the same position as I did before. I'm going to set a location here and I'm going to drag my iPad over to the other side to set my location here and once I've set that point it actually gives me that 4.9 uh, meter distance just like I got with my laser measure tool so this is a really cool way if you forget your laser measure or maybe you don't even need a laser measure to be able to get an accurate scale of your floor plan that we can now set in the survey application. We know the distance of the pillar to the wall behind us now, and I need to correlate that into the survey application. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna zoom in a little bit so I can see a bit easier. And you notice we've got these two blue tool tips down here. What I can do is I can grab the first one and drag it over here to the first position. And you'll notice on the top left-hand corner of the screen, it zooms in to make it really easy to be exact to where you're placing that. Then what I'm gonna simply do is grab the next one and then move it to this position. Once I'm happy with that, I can now type in my scale and I can put 4.9 because that was the distance and hit enter. And now we have an accurately scaled floor plan inside of the survey application.